Hello, you are welcome to Remedia One platform for learning. Today I'll be doing a video on preparation of gases, specifically hydrogen gas. There is a past question on preparation of hydrogen gas, and this is exactly what you are going to do today. You are going to try and solve it so that when a similar one comes in the WASI, you'll be able to solve it and solve it well. So let's look at this past question. There is a setup here. So this setup is an illustration for the preparation of a gas in the laboratory. Study the illustration carefully and answer the questions that follow. So there is this setup here. So we have a stand here, there is a conical flux here, and inside the conical flux there is dilute hydrochloric acid and also zinc metal or zinc granule. And because of these two reagents, dilute hydrochloric acid and a zinc granule, then we are very sure that the gas which is being produced here is hydrogen gas. And that's why in my introduction I said that we are going to look at the preparation of hydrogen gas in the lab. So the gas is produced. The gas passes through this delivery tube into a U-tube or a U-shaped glass tube. And this U-shaped glass tube contains a dry agent, K. Normally for hydrogen gas, the drying agent is calcium chloride because calcium chloride does not react with hydrogen gas. So that is one condition for selecting a particular drying agent. Yes, so the drying agent is calcium chloride because it does not react with hydrogen gas. So always, the condition for selecting a drying agent is that that drying agent should not react with the gas concerned. Now, after the gas is dried, it will pass through this delivery tube again, and then it will be collected in this gas jar. But if you look at the diagram carefully, the gas jar is inverted, which tells you that the gas is being collected by upward delivery or downward displacement of air. This method of collection is for gases which are lighter than air. So gases like hydrogen gas and ammonia, these two gases are lighter than air. Normally, the average relative molecular mass of air is assumed to be 28.8. So you compare the relative molecular mass of the gas concerned to 28.8. And if the mass is lower or far less than 28.8, then we say that that gas is lighter than air. So you see, hydrogen gas has a relative molecular mass of 2, and therefore it is far less as compared to that of 28 points. So hydrogen gas is collected by upward delivery or downward displacement of air. Now, there is a stand here, or there is a restored stand here, and this restored stand has a clamp. So the clamp is trying to hold the gas jar in place in this diagram. So that is all about this diagram. Now let's look at the questions that follow this diagram. The first question A is that we should name the parts labeled J, K, L, M, N, and P. After labeling the parts, we are also supposed to state the function of each of the part labeled L and P. After that, we shall also look at the method of collection of the gas produced here. So we are to state the method of collection of the gas. And then we shall also look at how to test for the gas in the lab. So the D question says that we should describe how the gas produced could be tested for in the lab. Then lastly, we shall also look at how to write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction which occurs in the setup above. So these are the questions that we are going to answer from this diagram. So let's go. Um, the first part, names of the part label. So part label J is testor funnel. And going back to the diagram, we can see that the tester funnel is here. 
this is the total funnel. We can see that this is the total funnel. Yeah, the total funnel is G. And the function of the total funnel is that it is used to deliver the acid into the conical flask, even though you were not asked to state the function of the, of the total funnel. But in case you were asked in the, maybe the next question, which is likely to appear, uh -huh, that will be the function of the total funnel. It is used to deliver the acid into the conical flask. And then in the question, we have been asked to state the function of L. So let's locate L. This is L. So L is our U-shaped glass tube, or you can say U-tube glass. It is a U-shaped glass tube, or you can say U-tube glass. Uh, so that is L, U-tube glass. And then uh, we have also been asked to state the function of P. But before you look at the P, let's look at the function of L, the U-tube glass tube or the u-shaped glass tube its function here is that it holds the drying agent there's a drying agent here which is k and this drying agent is calcium chloride and it's the u-tube which is holding that drying agent so that's the function of the u-tube here again as the gas is passing over the drying agent it will pass through the u-tube channel and then through the delivery tube and it will be collected in the gas jar. So that is the function of P. The, so the function of P here, the gas jar, is that it is used to collect the gas. And which gas is here? The gas is hydrogen gas. Why is it hydrogen gas? Because the reaction here is between dilute hydrochloric acid and zinc metal. You see, generally, anytime a mineral acid react with a reactive metal like zinc always the gas which is produced is hydrogen gas and for that reason the gas here is hydrogen gas now the next set of questions is that we should state the method of collection of the gas and as i said in the diagram because the gas jar has been inverted the method is by upward delivery. So over here, the answer is upward delivery, or you can write downward displacement of air. Now let's look at how the gas produced could be tested for in the lab. So in this case, we are testing for hydrogen gas in the lab. One thing about hydrogen gas is that it reacts explosively with oxygen in the presence of heat. So to test for the gas in the lab, Normally what we do is that we bring the gas into contact with a lighted splint. And whenever these two are in contact, there is the production of an explosive pop sound. So whenever you hear this explosive pop sound, then it means that the gas present is hydrogen gas. So in the, in, uh, over here, the, the answer is that the gas is brought into contact with ex a lighted splint and the production of a, an explosive pop sound indicates the, pr the presence of hydrogen gas. Now let's look at the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. As I said, the reaction is between dilute hydrochloric acid and zinc metal. So the reaction here is zinc metal, that is zinc in the solid form, plus dilute hydrochloric acid or HCl aqueous forming zinc chloride aqueous plus hydrogen gas but here you have to put two here just to balance the equation thank you very much for watching this video my name is Samuel Enchi in my next video we shall be solving questions on other areas of integrated science either biology or a Greek. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you share to your friends.